how do you attract a guy? All you have to do is look at them. <laughs> That's it. All you have to do is look at them. How do you attract a man? You have to be I'm con- planning to break up with somebody soon. <laughs> okay. I can help you with that. It's honestly, it's my specialty. Mm-hmm. I ring a bell when I help people break up. Ah. I do live streams and people come and ask me, should I stay or should I go? And I give them advice. And then they come back and they say they left and I ring a bell for them. <laughs> I have already fully fledged thinking I'm going. Yeah. So there's not should I stay, but the action of doing so can be hard. Will be my first do- time doing it. Oh, okay. So let me ask you this: What are you most afraid of? I'm making this open decision to do so, and I know that you know doing so might make that person not be in my life anymore, or stay in my life. I am, in general, I do. I'm always afraid of like people leaving my life. Even though I'm making that decision right now right. to leave theirs. We have an instinct that's based on survival. Because before we had all of this, we lived in a jungle. So we had to be an animal that survived in the jungle. One of the fears that we have is reduced numbers. Mm-hmm. Because there is safety in numbers. Have you heard that before? Yeah. So it's an instinct to want to keep anybody who's around you, around you. Even if that person is dysfunctional. You've seen people stay too long in the wrong relationships. Mm-hmm. Because there's a fear of losing one of our numbers, and it's a subconscious fear. Yeah. And when we don't understand our instincts, we respond to the subconscious, and then we base our decisions on our subconscious fears. So instead of letting go of the person because you know they're not a good fit, you keep them in your life because you're afraid of not having them. Yeah. And the safety subconsciously that you think they provide, they could continue to provide. So when you let go of your subconscious fears, it makes it a lot easier to deal with your conscious fears. You know you kind of have a fear of letting them go. You know you have a fear of maybe how they're going to feel about it. And you know you have a fear of how you're going to feel about it. But the subconscious fear underneath all of that is just an instinct Mm. to keep your numbers up. So what do you think the hardest thing about letting them go is going to be? Is it going to be saying it to them? Saying it to them and then the second portion, which it's a good change, but just changing my everyday. Right. It'll be very different. My everyday life will just be very different after. Do you think you're afraid of that or do you think you're excited by that? I'm excited, but I'm also thinking, what am I supposed to do with all that empty space of time? Oh, have you tried meditation? Once. Oh, it's so good. (laughs) It's super good. I would say start with 20 minutes a day of meditation to fill Mm -hmm. up that empty space. Mm -hmm. Because what's going to happen in meditation is you're going to get ideas that are focused on your passions. So when you come out of your meditation, you'll have things that you're going to want to do because now you're taking more time to calm your mind. And because your mind is calming, you're becoming becoming more in tune with who you are naturally. Mm -hmm. And now you have ideas for what you're going to do to be more of yourself. Mm. I'm just thinking, like, what would I meditate? Yeah. So I can make meditation easy. I have a YouTube channel. So if you go on YouTube, you type Canada's Dating Coach. Easy to remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a Let's Meditate playlist. And I have a bunch of tracks that are binaural beats, which is music infused with a meditative frequency, Ah. pulling your brainwave into a meditative state faster. And I have some guided ones so that you don't have to think about what not to think. You can actually think about the things that I guide you into thinking, like I am powerful. I am grateful. Thank you for everything that I have. I have everything. (laughs) And then making more of your wonderful life evolve. Ah. Would you like a free book? Okay, let me show you what I have. I'm going to let you choose whichever one speaks to you the most. Oh, come back, queen. Come back, okay. queen. There you go. Uh, Thank you, Nikki. Of course. All right. Have an awesome day, my Just love. Just out of yeah. curiosity, have you ever been on another YouTube show? Which one? That library show? Yep. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, huh? Yeah. That was me. That was a little familiar. <laughs> Do you have any other questions for me? Because I'm open to anything you want to ask. How about charming a guy after not being in the dating game for so long? Okay. You want to think of it in two terms. Guys and girls are selfish short-term thinkers. Men and women are generous long-term thinkers. Mm-hmm. Guys are fun for playtime. Here today, gone tomorrow. Not going to keep you. I'm just having hookups, exploring myself, figuring myself out. Men are what you want for a long-term relationship because generous long-term thinking. Mm-hmm. They're not selfish. They're not tit for tat. They're not takers. They're not users. They want to take care of you. How do you attract a guy? All you have to do is look at them. <laughs> That's it. All you have to do is look at them. How do you attract a man? You have to be confident because men are confident. Men put you on a pedestal. They're not afraid of you being in charge of yourself. 
guys can have low self-esteem and they want to step on you to elevate themselves. Mm. The, they're the ones who are going to make the jokes that aren't really funny, right? They're the ones going to say when you look really good, you're wearing too much makeup because they want to put you down because if you feel too good about yourself, look at you getting too high, they can't step on you anymore. So the key to attracting a man is knowing who you are, <laughs> having goals, because a man is ambitious, right? And responsible and hardworking, like attracts like. So he's looking for ambitious, responsible, hardworking, confident, like him. He's looking for somebody who's gonna get to know him. So he doesn't mind using a no kissing for three months dating rule, which is the dating technique that I teach. Oh. Yeah, so no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers, no exclusivity means the guys who are lying about being men don't fool you. Mm. And the men who are actual men go, oh, you're smart enough to not pick a loser. I like <laughs> you, right? Because mm -hmm. confident men are picking losers. They're picking women who are too confident to pick a loser. Uh, are you sure you don't want no more assholes? <laughs> now come back, queen. It's yes, queen it. good. If, it's, queen. if it speaks to you, it's yours. It was really good talking with you. It was, it was really great talking with you. <laughs> I appreciate you doing this with me.